Stop killing all my NPCs, you crazy things. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. This is the absolute worst. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert modded archer let's play. And as you can see, guys, we are straight into the action today. There is all sorts of crazy going on here. Oh my goodness. So we are trying to take out the pillars so we can get to the Moon Lord and get all of those amazing endgame bows. No, no, not in the intro. Oh no. Yep, nice start, Happy. Nice start. 10 out of 10 would die again in the intro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so yeah, guys, we've got a huge episode coming up. We're going to be taking on the Moon Lord and getting some of those overpowered bows that I am so excited to use. I was also thinking we should probably max out our critical strike uh, because that will really help with our damage. And we are definitely going to need it because I'm getting slammed. Oh my gosh. Ah, we're going to have to retreat. Oh, it looks like that, that pink meld blob stuff is dropping too. <gasps> Maybe I can make that new armor we were trying to make in our last episode. That would be amazing. Oh my gosh, I have to retreat. Fishron, save me. Save me, Fishron. Oh no. Oh gosh. So yeah, guys, we're going to be making the Planetary Annihilation, and we can do that once we've beaten the Moon Lord. Uh, I think you turn all the four fragments into something called... Oh, it's like called a Singularity something or other. Uh, so that'll be really nice. I'm looking forward to doing that. Oh, look at the random Nimbus as well. Oh gosh. Thanks for the crazy support as always, guys. Almost 2,500 likes on our last Aaron episode. That is out of control. Thank you so much. Let's see if we can smash out another 2,000 for this episode, I would really appreciate it, guys. You are out of control. So we're doing pretty good here. There's been an update to the Calamity and the Thorium mod, so I don't know if anything critical has been changed. I guess we'll explore that during the episode. I mean, I guess one thing we can see straight away is these Mel Blob things are dropping, and that's really, really awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so tough. Oh, I want homing arrows. I need homing arrows. I'm going to have to look at the guide and see if I can make some. Oh, oh also, there's a bow we can make it's called like the void bow or something and you just make it with like all the different hard mode bows so and we can actually make that right now um so we'll definitely have to check it out i mean right now after i get a stake launcher and make some other stuff so yeah we'll definitely have to look into that oh my gosh this is so tough please don't die again i don't want to die again no 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 i think my devil's carapace went off no get on <laughs> oh this is so hard Ooh. That's it. I am not dying again. No, get off me, brain suckler thing. Why isn't it dying? Oh, no. Okay, not dying anymore. Oh, there's the pillar there. Oh, it's got stealthy. No way. That's crazy. Okay, I'm almost dead. Anyway, let's zoom ahead to the end of the pillar. Yep, yep. Nice, nice. This is not going to be easy, guys. Oh, my God. I think the shield's down, guys. I think it's finally down. It is time for the YOLO to end all YOLOs. Oh, my goodness. Let's go, let's go. Where is this thing? Oh, quick, 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 quick. you got to take it out quick. Oh, my gosh. I'm getting... No, 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 no. Please. Not anymore dying. Oh, yeah, it might help if you aim at it, Happy. Oh, yes. We got it. We got it. Okay. I've just got to not die. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's a few stragglers. No, no. I've got like 36 hit points. Oh, are they all dead? I think they're all dead. Okay. Oh, oh no, there's that thing. Over. Oh, oh no, there's one. Oh, there's one of those stargazer things or whatever they're called. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Okay, we're good. Oh, wow. Okay, let's pick up our fragments. Oh, lovely. So how many did we get? Okay, 42. I've got like a crystal blade thing off something or other during the... Oh, wow, that's amazing. Check it out. That is so cool. That must be a new item. Oh, that's so... I love it. All right, so let's wait for morning and when it stops raining. I've got like almost 300 meld blobs. Let's see what we can make with them. I think it's over, guys. The chaos is finally over. Oh, my goodness. So let's put our nebula fragments in here. So we're collecting those up all nicely. We've got a mini meteorite with some hallowed bars. That's kind of cool. And now we've got hundreds of these meld blobs. Uh, so we should be able to make a few more meldiite bars. Now, I made 25 last episode. I think I only need about 35 to make the armor. So it's called Xerox, which is kind of cool. So let's get the helmet and let's make the plate mail. Beautiful. And let's see what this actually does for Aaron here. So defense, we're currently on 54. Let's see, do we get more? Oh, we're up to 66. Awesome. And wow, look at all this stuff it does. Set bonus, wrath and rage, defense up, projectile have special effects. That's pretty cool. And our damage is looking pretty sweet. Wow, our death wind does 264. That's insane. Holy moly. I love it. So we've got a Stardust pillar left and a Solar pillar. I think we'll fight Solar next because that's pretty tough. Stardust isn't too bad. So I'm going to get some potions. Let's do this, people. 
Okay, guys, we're on the edge of the Solar Pillar territory, so let's get our buffs on. And is our new armor going to keep us safe in this crazy zone? Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to expect here. But I do have some platforms set up, that, so that may actually help with the crawl torpedes because I can actually just dance around a bit. I dance around, yeah. Oh, Solarians, no, please. Oh, this could be so tough. Oh, arrows, please don't reflect back into me too much. No, no, we're hiding down here. Okay, why am I going into the dungeon? This is like a bad move. Oh, you know what I should do? Okay, okay, I can do this. I can do this. We should mine a little tunnel through and I can escape. Don't kill me while I'm mining a tunnel. Stop it! <laughs> okay, there we go. So now I've got a little entry tunnel into the dungeon. Beautiful. I'm breaking too much. So I should be able to like do little laps around now. That might help quite a bit. So we can also make terrarium armor as well from the thorium mod. I don't know if that's better than our Xerox uh, armor that we've currently got. Um, we might have to do like a little bit of a comparison um, because I... Oh goodness, my devil's carapace went off because I want to be wearing the best stuff, of course. No. Oh no, it's going to be tough. Yeah, all right, all right. Is this just going to be happy dies over and over again today? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Okay, so let's throw our buffs on and let's see if we can take it out this time. Oh, right. Yep, yeah, just launch straight into my face. Two. Oh no, no, I'm almost dead already. Oh, we're up to a great start, great start. Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. Okay, get the crawl speed. Nice, nice. Yep, yep, almost dead. This is just going absolutely swimmingly here. All right, let's 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 retreat a bit. My devil's carapace has gone off. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to have to do like that platform trick where you build like the platform up from the edge. Oh, I'll do a montage. Oh my goodness. Yep, yep. So not only have I died about 36 million times to that solar eclipse, I mean the solar pillar, a solar eclipse has started. Oh my goodness. So I'm half dead. So what, what's happening is I'm getting hurt on the way to the pillar and now I can't even, oh, a deadly sphere. So how am I going to kill the pillar? I don't know. I guess we can just try and YOLO and just hope for the best. I did need to get a stake launcher anyway to make the void bow. So that's kind of cool. Um, so I guess... Oh man, I've only got like 50 hit points. This is not going to work. Oh, well, I guess you never know though. You never know unless you go. So let's let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. Where is this solar pillar? I think it was up in the sky somewhere. Oh, yep. Okay, here it is. Here it is. All right, jump on the fish one. We can do this, people. Phantasm going crazy. Please leave me alone, everything. Please leave me alone. Oh man, I'm out of holy arrows as well. Oh, okay, our Phantasm's doing a pretty good job here. Getting those extra uh, Luminite shots in, which is nice. Or oh, Luminite or whatever they're called. Oh, yes. We've almost got it. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys. No, no. Leave me alone, crawl to peed. Leave me alone. Oh, we got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, crazy crawl to peed. Okay. So, all right. Let's get our beautiful fragments. Very nice. We might actually be able to make the planetary annihilation earlier than expected. Now, I've got to show you guys something. Look at all the tombstones in here. I was like hiding in here trying to protect myself from the Solarians. Oh, this is madness. Oh no, please don't kill all the NPCs, please! Don't kill the guide, I need the guide. Oh gosh, alright, let's try and get away from the town, and hopefully they won't kill everyone. No, no, Enzo was Maxwell my guide, I can't remember. Oh gosh, okay, so I've got a couple of hundred hit points, this is alright. So we need to get, ooh, a moon, a moon stone. A moon stone would be nice. And didn't I need a broken hero, bro? Oh no, Lord Euromir was... Oh. Um, yeah, didn't I need the broken hero bow from Mothron? I think there was a bow I could make with that. I don't know if it's any good anymore, but that would be cool if we can get one of those. That would actually be very nice. I'd love to check it out, even if we don't use it. Um, so what do we need? Okay, so we need a stake launcher from... What? Are they from the vampires? No, or are they from Mothron? I can't even remember now. Oh, man, this episode is going crazy so far. Alright, very good, very good. So I find it interesting, the Nettlevine Great Bow actually attacks a little bit faster than the Phantasm. Um, and I'm finding it's a little bit more useful uh, for events like this where there's like just tons of enemies uh, because it helps by knocking them back a little bit. 
Uh, so that's why I'm using uh, that a little bit more over the Phantasm, but remember that we can upgrade our Phantasm very soon to something more powerful. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Okay, my um, my uh, Devil's Carapace has gone off. So, oh my gosh. Oh, where's a Mothron? Okay, let's move over here. Maybe they can't shoot me as easy. Ah, a bit of peace and quiet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I never actually made a proper monster fighting arena, I don't think, in this playthrough. I normally make a little one, but hey, it's all good. We'll be making our Moon Lord uh, area. Oh no! Not again! Not again! I can't Oh, there's so many deaths! Oh. Oh my god, I just realized <laughs> we just got our broken hero bow. I'm like, I hope I get a stake launcher. And I forgot that they, go, they drop from the pumpkin moon. Oh my goodness. I'm like, what drops a stake launcher again? And it's like, it can't be the vampire because that would be killing itself. Uh, I think I've got a pumpkin moon medallion, so I can probably turn through uh, a pumpkin moon quickly. And especially, they drop from morning woods as well. So that shouldn't take too long to farm one of them anyway. So that's kind of cool. So I'm just gonna try and get a moonstone and then we'll get on with our adventure <laughs> Okay, okay, I did it, and it's raining again. <laughs> oh, so we got a bunch of stuff. I got lots of deadly spear staffs. I got our broken hero bow, which is kind of cool. Um, and we got some banners, which is always fun. But what I want to do quickly then is fight a pumpkin moon, and for the first time in forever, I can actually get some um, buff potions to help with that. I'm pretty sure I got a pumpkin moon medallion. So let's just dump all of that in there. I want my um, I want my fragments. And what else do I definitely need to take with me? Uh, let's grab our bow. And do I need any of the other stuff? Probably not critical at the moment. That's fine. All right, beautiful. So I'm going to get my medallion. I'm pretty sure I put it in our big box of monster summon stuff. Ah, uh, yes, boss summons. There it is. There's a pumpkin moon medallion. It's kind of cool. I've been storing all the, um, the modded armors because unfortunately I can't put them on mannequins. I think that helmet breaks or something uh, or something random like that. So we'll get some buff potions. Let's fight a pumpkin moon. Okay, we're all geared up, and I've got lots of potions, I made some more holy arrows, and I think I'm going to fight the pumpkin moon over our desert arena, uh, just because it's got the little safety box up here, which will give me some more mobility against those crazy, crazy, um, what am I thinking of, the pumpkins, of course. Um, but our main goal is to kill morning woods, of course. I probably don't need holy arrows for these first ones, especially if I'm using my death wind bow, uh, because it doesn't get the holy arrow effect anyway. And I think the energy arrows do pretty good damage, uh, just as they are. So there we go. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, okay, this is nice and even. I'm getting some pretty good damage in here. Not taking too much damage myself. And I used a life force potion, guys. Look, we're up to 710 life. This is amazing. Oh, I love it. Oh, goodness. So I think Morning Woods are wave 4, I believe. So we do have a pretty good chance to get the stake launcher. Um, oh, there's one now. Oh, goodness. Oh, we're already wave 4. That's awesome. Okay, so let's shred that thing. Beautiful stake launcher. Launcher for happy? No, no stake launcher for happy, but I want one. Oh well, what can you do? I'm sure if we keep our fingers crossed, we might be alright. I got a spooky hook, that's kind of nice. A little upgrade to our Skeletron hand there. Um, so I've noticed these buffs are coming up. Xerox Wrath and uh, Xerox Rage. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like the way nebula armor works, except I don't think you need to collect the nebulas. Uh, you just get them from uh, doing and taking damage, I believe. Or something, I, actually it looks like it might be from taking damage. Uh, let's take a hit on purpose. Yeah, okay, so it's when you take damage. That's kind of cool. So I think I'll, no, morning wood, don't jump in the hole. What are you doing? All right, let's get rid of the pumpkin. Get some hearts for happy. Beautiful. Let's see if I can jump in the hole and finish this off. Urgh, let me through. I don't even know, did I get it? Oh, I got a necromantic scroll. Okay, that's always fun. So this Deathwind, I think it's been buffed uh, in the latest Calamity, um, or it's Calamity Bow, yeah, Calamity. I think it's been buffed, so that's kind of awesome. I thought it was actually a little underpowered before, so quite happy about that. <gasps> is, is that, yes, I think we got the Stake Launcher. Whoa, 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 <laughs> that's so good. Oh man, I needed that so much. Oh, oh that's for happy, yay. Ah, no, no, oh goodness, wow. I could churn through this invasion if I made a proper arena with this bow. It is insane, I love it, oh my goodness. Okay, so that was pretty much all we needed from the Pumpkin Moon, I believe. So I think, uh, do I need anything else? I don't believe so. So I think we'll actually skip through uh, to morning now. Let's do it, guys. Let's do some crafting. 
Ah, uh, it's nice to be back in town and all the craziness is over and the NPCs have slowly moved back in. Oh my gosh, they got totally destroyed. It was out of control. So I've got some of the bows ready for crafting and I made just like, you know, like the, how the clarify one and all that good stuff. So the first thing we can make is the Eternal Knight into something special. Um, the True Eternal Knight, uh, which is pretty cool. And I think it turns into like a, I think you can make it into like a terror bow or something. Yeah, yeah, which is pretty awesome. So I'd need to make a true hallowed repeater um, I think that would be good if you got it just after you beat Plantera now some of you might have noticed that Oh goodness. Where'd that bow go? Uh, we can make the void bow Which I'll, I'll double check what mod it's from but yeah, it looks like it's got some pretty sweet damage uh, So let's see what this does. So I used like most of my bows to make this. Whoa! Check it out. This thing is crazy. Oh my gosh. It makes like a little purple void thing. That's kind of cool but it shoots so fast. Holy moly, look at all these attacks. This is out of control. Whoa, there's like arrows going everywhere. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is a pretty nice boat. Can you imagine, guys, what this is going to do to the Moon Lord if it attacks that fast? And a few of you asked me to make an OP bow, so I'm like, yep, yeah, that could be pretty sweet. Hopefully we can reforge it and stuff. Guys, looking to wrap that up there for today. Looking at the time. Time to wrap things up. I'm going to throw the winners from our giveaway up on screen now, which was our three Terraria 4 PC. Uh, winners. Uh, thank you to everyone who entered our little mini giveaway yesterday. Thanks for my regular viewers who are checking stuff out. Oh, I think I just killed a butterfly or something. <laughs> also, there's a card on screen now. I thought we would do a little uh, poll for fun today. I want to know what your favorite thing is, chips or chocolate. And if you want to throw a comment down, hashtag team chocolate or team chips to show your support, that would be cool too. And yes, uh, not yesterday, tomorrow, we will see what the winning, <laughs> the winning team is. Chips or chocolate? What is your favorite? You guys, smash that like button if you're enjoying our Aaron series. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. But here's the most important part. As always, you will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Day, signing out. See ya!